Hey guys, back here with another home recording studio tip. I found this pretty cool product that might help you gain some glass space on your uh, your your um, studio desktop. As you develop and and evolve your studio, you need more and more space to see all the software that you're using. And you know, space is also a premium. You don't have a lot of. I mean, at least I don't have a lot of space on my my desk for uh, a bunch of monitors. I have one. You know, pretty nice 24-inch monitor, but uh, you know, I could use more glass. And I found this really cool. You know, because basically you've got you know you you've got an issue, right? So you've got your door running here, and at least I do. I have, you know, I have like in my case, I use uh, Studio One, so I've got uh, the VSL software running behind it, and that's what I use to control. Uh, it's basically my mixer for anything coming into the DAW, right? So. I'm constantly flipping back back and forth between the two and it's you know it's a pain in the neck so I was thinking about going out and getting a monitor I did a little research and I found this application that actually allows you to turn your iPad and I have an iPad 3 here um, you can turn your iPad into an external monitor and it's basically the connection is via Wi-Fi right so um, let me set this up here for you and I'll show you how it works it's really cool and I think it'll It'll help you, uh, you know, certainly help you gain some some glass space. And I found this application called X Display. It's by a company uh, named uh, Splash Top. You can find it on iTunes. And what you do is you download the app for your iPad, and then you go to their website and download uh, an agent for your your PC. So that and that's basically the software talking to each other. And again, it's all done over Wi-Fi. So once you have that all set up, it gives you security code. Uh, for your X display on iPad, so once you do, what you do is you enter that security code, and once you do that, it basically connects with your computer. Uh, it becomes a, an external monitor. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll I'll actually let me just show you how this works. So I have got over here I've got this 22 VSL software, and I could just basically drag it over to this other monitor. Okay, and now I've got. 22V, I have the VSL software running here, controlling my ex, my audio box, and I've got my door running here, so you can see, you know, meters work, everything works, it's pretty cool, right? So, think about it, it's got a bunch of different applications, you know, if I, let's say I didn't want to run this over here, I wanted to, uh, you know, I was, I was doing some tracking, and I had uh, a small amount of tracking to do, and I wanted to bring Studio One over here, I could actually bring Studio One in, into here, okay, now it's not going to get huge, obviously it's a small screen, but I could bring Studio One here, and it's it's effective enough to use, and if I'm record, if I'm doing my recording and tracking away from where my desk is, I actually bring Studio One to the desk, which is really cool, to, I mean to where I'm recording, which is really cool, so it's like, a, it's basically a remote, uh, it's, it's a remote um, DAW Connection. So instead of buying something or getting software that requires you to connect via MIDI to control your DAW, you can actually put your DAW on this window and bring it with you, which I think is, a, I'd rather be using that interface than somebody else's interface. So that's, a, I think that's a pretty cool application. But certainly the one I'm going to use it for most is, you know, for putting like VSL in here, or the other thing I, 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 would, I would do is um, I might... Um, if I've got a, if I have a, uh, one of the effects, like let's take a look at one of these effects. So I've got uh, Pro EQ. All right, and I could just bring Pro EQ over here. So what I'll do is, if I'm doing some mixing and I just want to fiddle with the with the Pro EQ, I can actually use the use the the the, the iPad to to make changes to it. I don't have to use a mouse. I can do it, and I can hold it in my lap if I want to. Whatever is more comfortable because it's 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 uh, mobile, so it's really a a, gr a great uh, add-on to uh, in, to a, a home studio environment. Um, so that's basically uh, that's basically it. I mean, it's it, again, it's um, it's pretty easy to use, pretty easy to set up, and it's only five bucks. That's the beauty of it. Instead of going out and spending a couple hundred dollars on a monitor, for five bucks you get. Uh, you get what you need here. Now the graphics are, they're not fantastic. I mean they're not, it's not high definition, but it's good enough. It's pretty clear. Um, 
The response time is pretty good. It's going to dispend, it's going to depend on the speed of your network because it is connected to your computer via Wi-Fi, um, which is something you need to think about if you've got uh, a slower computer running your DAW and you don't have the cycles to be sending monitor information over the over the uh, the the network over the LAN to your to a monitor. You know, it may slow things down for you. In my case, I've got a pretty pretty nice uh, quad processor and, and like 8 gig of RAM so I've got plenty of resources and it doesn't tax it at all but so that is a consideration I mean you wanna you don't you don't want to do this if, if you got a slower have a slower computer so I hope that was helpful again this is X display by uh, splash top $4 or 499 I should say on iTunes real easy to use real easy to set up um, I hope it was helpful please rate comment subscribe you know what we're trying to do here is bring some 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 great tips to other to to all home home studio enthusiasts people that are working on evolving their studios and hopefully this was helpful and it'll help you do that uh so again thanks for watching and uh, have a great day